the days here, my friends. Madden 20 ratings have finally been released. And now that I think about it, it seems like they should have been released a little bit earlier because the game, we, we legitimately can play the game in 10 days. But beside the point, they are out today. And today we are going to go over the ratings of all the players. And then later in the video today, I am going to go over the team ratings to show you the best team overall wise in Madden 20. So make sure to look out for that. And before we do get to the video, dudes, I am doing a huge giveaway over on Instagram. You have a chance to win one of four copies of Madden 20. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. I'll link you to the post so you can see how to enter. It's super easy. There's literally no point in not going to enter. And if we can get up to 20. 20,000 followers and get that post to 10,000 likes that adds in even more copies that I will give away We're getting super close to those two numbers So make sure to go into the giveaway if you haven't and I'm doing an extremely similar giveaway over on Twitter So it's the same exact stipulation. I'll leave a link to that description box as well Just make sure to go into those giveaways in total between Instagram and Twitter eight copies of Madden 20 will be given away So hopefully you guys are excited for that with that said into the video first what we are going to look at is the top five NFL quarterbacks in Madden 20 Mr. Andrew Luck top quarterback in Madden 20 wow it's crazy no Tom Brady Patrick Mahomes 97 overall as there's a little clip of him right here let's see probably is he throwing the ball yep no look pass we've already, we've already seen all this Patrick Mahomes should be at least a fun quarterback to use and plus with all his crazy abilities He's the highest overall quarterback, so he's going to be a lot of fun to play with in Madden 20. He has 96 throw power, 97 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run with the superstar X-Factor zone ability. Bazooka throw the ball, I think, was it 75 to 80 yards, which is crazy. But now, Tom Brady. Is this the first year in a long time? When was the last time he wasn't a 98 or 99? That's crazy. 96 overall, and also in these overalls, you will see... That some of them just seem absolutely crazy. It's just because they came out with a whole new overall system. One thing that I did see the guys that make the actual Madden ratings say on Twitter is the fact that you can't compare a player's overall to another position based on how the overalls are calculated by each position. Just because, let's say, I don't know, for example, Marcus Mario, I don't know if this is right, but just say, for example, his overall is an 85. Just because he's an 85 overall quarterback, just throwing it out there, Todd Gurley is an 80 at running back. You can't compare that. Like, oh, they think Marcus Mario is a better overall player than Todd Gurley. No, it's just because the way the overalls work this year. So that, that was a weird example, but hopefully that makes sense. Moving on, he has 99 throw accuracy short, 98 throw accuracy mid, 99 play action, and 99 awareness, which a Tom Brady should have. Now, third rated quarterback, wow. Now, this one's a shocker. I mean, I don't disagree with it, but this has got to be the highest overall Phillip Rivers has been in years. And with him getting older, according to Madden, he's just getting better. 94 overall, 99 toughness, 96 throw under pressure, 93 throw accuracy deep, and 98 play action. And his superstar X factor zone ability is fearless. Which means he's not intimidated by pass rush, which makes sense with the being crazy old Phillip Rivers. Fourth rated quarterback in Madden 20, Andrew Luck at a 92 overall. He has 93 throw in the run, 83 speed, which is top five among quarterbacks, which is kind of crazy. And 92 throw accuracy deep, which is weird that those are his highest notable stats, and he's a 92 overall. But next, the fifth rated quarterback in Madden 20 is Drew Brees. That's also got to be one of the lowest overalls he's had in a really long time, but I guess that's what happens when you age, unless you're, you know, freaking Tom Brady. Notable ratings, 99 throw accuracy short, 96 play action, and 93 throwing the pressure, and he has the same exact ability as Mr. Phillip Rivers, where they don't get intimidated by pressure. So the quarterback ratings are pretty crazy. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about them. Next, the top five wide receivers. DeAndre Hopkins, one of the four players that do have a 99 overall rating. If you guys don't know who that is, you have DeAndre Hopkins, Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, and Bobby Wagner. Now, Bobby Wagner is the most questionable one, but, I mean, I can see it for sure. But it's crazy that Bobby Wagner is 99 and Luke Keekley isn't. But that's beside the point. Highest rated wide receiver in Madden 20 is DeAndre Hopkins. Look at all these ratings. He has the best rating in five categories for wide receivers. 99 catching, 99 jumping, spectacular catch, catching traffic, and release. So pretty much, he's going to be one of the most OP. He's going to be the most OP receiver in Madden 20. And he has the double me X-Factor zone ability, which increases his success rate on aggressive catches against single covered. So pretty much if he's single covered and has his ability active, just throw the ball up to him and he'll be able to catch it. 
Number two, my favorite, one of my favorite all-time players, Julio Jones, 98 overall. Second highest rated player in Madden 20, the wide receiver position. 92 speed, 95 agility, 95 catching, 97 jumping, 98 short route running, 97 medium route running. Also has double me. Antonio Brown coming at number three, or I guess tied for number two. He has 99 catching, 98 catching traffic, 92 speed, 98 agility, and 88 spin move. Now his superstar X factor zone abilities different. Rack him up when he enters the zone. He increases his success rate on rap catches against single coverage. That's interesting. First time I've seen that one. Odell Beckham Jr. Number four, newest member of the Cleveland Browns, 96 overall, 99 spec catch, 96 short route running, 96 mid route running, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, and 98 agility. Same X factor ability as Mr. Antonio Brown. Number five is Mr. Michael Thomas, 95 overall wide receiver. 92 excel, 98 catching, 94 spec catch, and 94 catching traffic. Also has double me ability. Now the last position that they do have, I don't know why they only have running back, wide receiver, and quarterback as like their own article here. But top five running backs in Madden NFL 20. Number one, Todd Gurley at a 97 overall. 92 speed, 92 excel, 96 break tackle, 95 agility, 92 elusiveness. Now his X-Factor ability, as you see, Ezekiel Elliott's number two. First one free, I haven't seen this one. It, it increases his fake out rate on his next juke, spin, or hurdle, which means that's going to be OP in head-to-head in, in -head Madden. Now, Ezekiel Elliott, number two, rated running back, 94 overall, 90 speed, 91 excel, 98 awareness, 94 jumping, 93 stiff arm. Now, his speed's a little low for a running back. That's the second highest rated in Madden. Melvin Gordon, the third highest rated running back in Madden, 20. 92 speed, 90 excel, 96 juke move, as they all have the same exact X-Factor ability. Le'Veon Bell hasn't played in a year. Goes from being a, what, a 99 overall, I believe, to a 92 in the New York Jets. He has 90 trucking, 92 excel, 95 agility, 94 stiff arm. I guess when they came up with these X-Factor zone abilities, they were just like, oh, let's come up with one good one, just give them all to the rest. I don't feel like coming up with any more, because they all have the same exact one. Then Saquon Barkley, the last running back on this top five list, the fifth highest rated running back in Madden 20, 97 break tackle, 92 speed, 93 excel, 96 agility, 90 elusiveness, 95 carrying, and 94 spin move. He has three of the best ratings for running backs in Madden 20. And once again, every single one of them have the same exact superstar X-Factor zone ability. So once again, maybe that's the only one for a running back. That That's weird. I know there's one for Alvin Kamara that allows him to catch the ball better out of the backfield. But that's your top five running backs in Madden 20. Now to look at all the top players in Madden NFL 20. Aaron Donald, DeAndre Hopkins, Khalil Mack, Bobby Wagner are the only four players that are rated 99 overall. And keep in mind, these can these these will change throughout the year. Now, who was the fastest player in Madden 20? That goes to Tyreek Hill, the only 99 speed player in all of Madden. And then it jumps down to Hollywood Brown, who is a rookie, and John Ross both have 92 speed. And Rico Gafford, a 51 overall with 96 speed. So AB, Julio, and Luke Keekley are right up there on the 99 overall. David Bakhtiari, 97. Patrick Mahomes in 97. Bob Miller from the 99 overall to 97 this year. That definitely, that, that's questionable. J.J. Watt down in the 97. Some players we haven't seen. Fletcher Cox in 96. Travis Kelsey pretty high up there in 96. Zach Martin's always super high overall at 96. Jalen Ramsey in 96. Oh, Mr. Snack the 95. Earl Thomas, new member of the Ravens at a 95. Fruit Williams at 95. Travis Frederick at 94. Stephon Gilmore, that's a huge move from last year up to a 94. As we saw Tyreek Hill up to a 94. Harrison Smith, 94. Adam Thielen, that's a huge jump from last year up to a 94. Stephon Diggs up to a 93. Another massive jump. Zach Ertz has a big jump as well up to a 93. I'm just trying to see the most notable ones. I don't this video to be way too freaking long. Devontae Adams in 92. Quiet Campbell in 92. Javon Clowney in 92. Malcolm Jenkins, that's also a pretty big jump for the old man, 92 overall. Michael Pierce in 92. Delaney Walker of my Tennessee Titans in 92. Mike Evans in 91. Eddie Jackson is high up there at 91 overall. Byron Jones is a big jump to a 91 overall. Christian McCaffrey in 91. Marshall Yon, the player that uh, in all these rebuilds are probably going to do another play you can trade for a lot. He went from like, what, I think he was close to an 83 at the end of last year. Now he's all the way back up to a 91. AJ Green, the 90. Chris Harris up to a 90. I think he was in the last year to 85. George Kittle, the big breakout star from last year, 90. Aaron Rodgers down to a 90. I didn't even think about him looking in the top five. Wow. Man, that's, that's a huge drop off from the what he was at the beginning of last year. 
Kevin Byard in 89, Julian Edelman, Super Bowl MVP in 89. Just trying to see the, the biggest shockers. You guys see all the top players. Matt Ryan down to an 89 this year. Jamar Dotson an 88. Melvin Ingram an 88. Ali Marpet is a big jump up to an 88 as well. Joe Mixon of the Bengals in 88. Juju Smith, an interesting one, up to an 88 as well. Leighton Van Der Esch. It seems a little low at an 86. Hunter Henry in 86. Mark Ingram, new member of the Ravens, 86. You have Philip Lindsay, an undrafted free agent after I mean, was a rookie last year, obviously, an 86 overall. Jared McCoy's dropped big time from mid 90s to an 86 overall. Xavier Rhodes with a little drop as well, down to an 86. James White's a little bit higher than what I thought of at 86. Tariq Cohen at 85 as Big Ben with a pretty big drop off. Now, a couple things I do want to do, because I know this video is already probably extremely long, hence why we're not doing the NFL teams in this video as well. What I do want to do is go to the quarterback position. Just look at all 32 of the starting quarterbacks in Madden 20. See if there's any players that I really haven't noticed up to this point. Some players that needed a higher rating. Uh, at the top, as we've already seen the top five or so, we have Russell Wilson at 91. Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, we already saw. Cam Newton is pretty low to 84, I think. 85 speed. He's got to be the fastest quarterback in Madden 20. Jared Goff, no, that's got to be, I'm an idiot. Lamar Jackson, he's probably number two. Jared Goff, 83. Baker Mayfield up to an 83. Deshaun Watson, 82. Carson Wentz seems a little low at 82. Dak Prescott, I've seen some Cowboys fans complaining about this at 81. Kirk Cousins also. I, I'm kind of upset that Andy Dalton has a higher rating than Marcus Mario, but I think 79 is still okay for, for Mr. Marcus Mario. The 88 speed, so he's faster than Cam Newton, so he's probably number two. I think Matthew Stafford and Jimmy D are actually a little bit lower than they should be. I, I don't know if I, even as a Titans fan, I mean, I think Marcus Mario is a quality quarterback, injury prone obviously, but I, I would still, I wouldn't mind Matthew Stafford and Jimmy D being higher overall. Lamar Jackson speed 94 overall, that's a shocker. Sam Donald, Josh Allen both at a 74 overall. My boy Ryan Tannehill, our backup quarterback at 74, so that's going to be the highest rated backup quarterback I would think in Madden 20. Kyler Murray at 73, we've already seen the rookie ratings. Eli Manning at 72 overall, so, so he has to be the lowest rated starting quarterback going into Madden 20. Josh Rosen potentially at a 70. Blake Bortles at 69, as you've seen all of the rookie ratings. See if we can see any more standouts. RG3, 66 overall. Poor old Daniel Jones again, 6 overall draft pick at a 63. Colt McCoy, 62. And think that's pretty much all the notable quarterback. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you think about these Madden 20 ratings in the comment section below. Let me know who you think is the most overrated and who you think is the most underrated. Also, don't forget to enter both of those giveaways. I will leave a link to my Instagram and Twitter at the top of the description box below. You have like 10 more days to enter, so hurry up and enter while you can. Subscribe if you are new and turn on that notification bell for more Madden 20 content. But I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. In peace.